Surprise testimony today from Patrick McDowell, the man who admits to murdering a Nassau County deputy. Today, McDowell addressed the deputy's family directly, apologizing to them and explaining his actions that night. McDowell said today that he'll never forgive himself for the murder. He also gave insight into why he pulled the trigger. McDowell already pleaded guilty to the murder, and now he is in the sentencing phase of the case, and he faces the death penalty. Deputy Joshua Moyers was 29 years old when he was killed. His family and fiance sat in the courtroom listening to McDowell's testimony. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker was also there today. Marilyn, in their opening statements, the defense did not say that McDowell would be speaking. It was unexpected, and the judge wanted to make sure McDowell knew what he was doing. McDowell responded to him saying that I've spoken with my attorneys in length about this. I'm ready. Now, remember, this comes after Tuesday's heart wrenching victim impact statements from Deputy Moyer's family and fiance. McDowell wanted to make sure they knew how he felt about what he heard. Take a listen. It was hard to listen to, but I feel like uh, I, I don't think that if there's anything that I can say or I can do to alleviate that pain, and I wish that I could. I mean that sincerely. I wish that I could that could take it all away. And I, I, I took the life of a man that was better than me. I'll never forgive myself for that. Even if even if they do find forgiveness for me, I'll never forgive myself for that. And during cross-examination, he actually started to apologize to his defense team for what he was about to say, but he prefaced it by saying that if I had the chance, I promised that I was going to tell the truth. So what he did was he started going over his options that night, either running or trying to talk his way out of the situation. But then he said the train comes and he reminded the jury that he was high on meth. And then he said that's not an excuse, but he knew what he chose to do that night. At the time, it seemed logical that if the train would come, I could take off across the tracks and him not pursue me. Once I started to hear it coming before the arms came down. When I took the, the pistol out of the holster and uh, put it down beside me, I checked the chamber to make sure I had a round loaded. Because I knew that if, if it failed, then I was willing to do whatever I needed to do to get away. And that included shooting the deputy. And I did that without a single, single thought of, of taking a man's life. I was 100% focused solely on myself. And it was during that part of the testimony that I saw Mc, uh, Moyer's fiance starting to wipe the tears and his brother actually kind of sat there with a blank stare on his face. When McDowell came off the stand and walked right in front of the family, I heard him say, I'm sorry, yet again. The jury just paid attention very closely to McDowell. Their head would go to the attorney and then back to McDowell again, paying very close attention. Now coming up tonight on News for Jackson 6, you can hear more of this testimony testimony and McDowell goes into his ideas behind the search and how he knew police protocol which aided him in leading police on that five-day manhunt. We're live at the Nassau County Courthouse, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station. Wow, Maryland, thanks.